Today I'm sharing my recent sales online. So these would be sales from eBay, Etsy, and Mercari, and a couple of sales that I made from viewers on haul videos, so those were through PayPal. My partner Juan and I have been selling online and locally for over 10 years. So if you're interested in learning more about selling and making a living selling online or locally, then definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the videos and tips that we give on ways we make money and support ourselves. So let's jump into the sales. These are in no particular order, so let's get started. The first item that has sold was this Seven Star Mantis Kung Fu book with DVD. Uh, you may have seen me sell some of these before. I have some that were given to me from a friend and this sold for $45. This was a vintage Pyrex turquoise snowflake divided dish that I got at a thrift store for $4 and it sold for $34.99. Next up is this creepy magazine. This is again from that big haul that Juan and I got at a garage sale. We, we got all of these National Lampoon, Mad Magazines, Creepies, they were all vintage, and a lot of horror magazines and books, things like that for $60, and this sold for $32. This was from my personal collection. I had a lot of nesting dolls that were my grandmother's and I also started collecting on my own and I decided as we've been downsizing that I'm going to start selling off some of these things that I've collected over the years. So this set of nesting dolls sold for $15. This is a teal Kipling crossbody bag that I've actually have had it for a while, but I didn't have it listed. So it's funny how as soon as you list things, they actually sell if you finally list them. So this is a purse that I believe I got for around $2 because it's been a little while since I got it and it sold for $20. I took a best offer. This was a really fun find for me. I thought this was very unusual, a little creamer or syrup server that had a train, but it was in that pink kind of twall style. So this one I took an offer of $15 on. I was sort of dubious about whether this was going to actually sell or not, so I was surprised when it did sell. I got a bunch of ring boxes and jewelry boxes that were empty and decided just to list them all, and this was from the Bradford Exchange, and it sold for $10. I took a best offer on that, and again, it was a big lot of boxes, jewelry boxes, ring boxes that I got in a lot that I, I believe I paid about five or seven, between five and seven dollars for just the empty boxes. This is from my button lot that I was so nervous about paying $25 for. I got this big tub of buttons at a garage sale. I had well over 500 buttons in it and I paid $25 and I thought I had wasted my money and this button lot has made so much. Even though they're smaller sales, they are easy to store, easy to ship, easy to photograph, front, back, measurements done. And even, you know, some of them have sold for more, some of them have sold for less. If you've been watching me for a while, you've heard me talk about my bricks and mortar and my bigger sales, 25, 30 plus dollars are those bricks, but those smaller sales really fill in the gaps for the mortar. So that's how you're gonna build a really strong house with bricks and mortar. Of course, it would be fantastic if we had nothing but brick sales with big profits, but it's not always realistic. So go for some of these smaller sales because they definitely add up. Next up, these were actually a pair of glasses that I bought to use myself. I thought I would try recording with them before I got my GoPro. And these are glasses that have like a camera built in like right between the eyes, but they were so glitchy. And like, if I turned my head, it was just blurry and it, it just wasn't working for video type quality for videos. So that I resold for $15 and I was glad to recoup some of my money back on those. This is a Michael Kors wallet that I recently got at the Goodwill, one of my favorite Goodwills, and I spent $4 on this and sold it for $20. These were a pair of my son's shoes. You guys with kids, you know how quickly your kids' feet grow. So he had a number of pairs of shoes that he outgrew very, very quickly. I should have, well, you can't wait. I mean, their feet, they outgrow the shoes they're in, you buy them new shoes, and then you find out they're not done growing, and they're still growing, and so anyway. These were worn like twice. And so I sold these Nike Flex uh, for $25. This was actually a South by Southwest event that I went to with Juan, I believe last year. Uh, it was a Doc Martin showcase. And this was some of the, the merch that they were just giving away there. And so I sold it for $9.99. Another button from my button haul. This one sold for $6. 
And then I got a few pairs of sunglasses at a garage sale not too long ago for a dollar a piece. These sold for $10 and these sold for $10. I picked this up, oh dear, where did I get this? This was from a garage sale. So I picked this one up because it still had the picture hanger thing on the back. Picked this up at a garage sale for about $3 and it sold for $37.50. It was really old. So it was very cool to see and find, but I was really glad that it sold. Another button from my button haul sold and this one sold for $10. This Suicide Squad comic is one from a friend of mine's lot that she gave me. You'll see these comics have been selling probably for the last couple of years. My friend gave me nine long boxes of comics that she had and I have been selling them over the years. So definitely let your friends and family know what you do for a living or what your goals are. You're trying to become a reseller, selling things for extra money, what have you. And you'd be surprised at what kinds of things that they come out with that they've got that they're willing to part with to help you reach your goals. This is a new Burbank sticker, and this is from the show Firefly. I got the su subscription boxes from Loot Crate for the Firefly series for a while, and they were fun to get, but I realized that I don't need all this stuff, and I ended up starting to sell it off, and this sticker, I was gonna say button, this sticker sold for $10. This Team Duke patch I got in a shoebox full of other patches and things at a garage sale. It had keychains, patches. I initially got the box because it had a whole bunch of Harley patches in it. And some of the other things, keychains and whatnot, have been selling quicker than the Harley stuff. This is another patch that was in that box as well. This one sold for $8. This dog I recently got, this one and another one that just sold but I haven't shipped it out yet. Um, but this one sold for $34.99. I spent $4 on this one, $4 on the other one. And so yeah, it sold for $34.99 very quickly actually. It makes you wonder, it's kind of weird. I mean, it's cute and weird. The puppy's kind of sad, maybe because he's chained up with a kitty or maybe it's because he's chained up, who knows. This is a cool clay seller box that I got and sold for $17. This is a Funko Pop Lost in Space final figure. These are actually, they sell for really good money if they're still new sealed in the box, but mine sold for $20. I probably could have gotten more, but it, yeah, I ended up taking a best offer of $20 on this. This really cute sushi teacup sold for $14.99, and I believe I paid about a dollar for this. I'm trying to remember if I got it at a garage sale or at the thrift store. Another pair of those sunglasses sold for $14.99. I paid a dollar for these. This multicolored gemstone tree of life sold for $40. I got this one and I believe an amethyst, I think it's amethyst, one at a garage sale and I paid $2 a piece on those. This Wii Sport sold for $17. Again, I've been going through, we've been cleaning stuff out, we're getting rid of our Wii stuff, and so we've been selling some of the games and accoutrement that goes with that. And this one sold, but then we also had some that we, you know, that's one of those to look out for when you're at garage sales to pick up to flip. This is one of my kiddos uh, Pokemon cards. This sold for $9. This really cool green divided ser serving dish sold for $25 and I paid $3 for this. This vintage black Coca-Cola crate I got in a, it was on the curb, like somebody had done a freebie, you know, come get all the stuff off the curb. I'd gotten all of this Halloween stuff and there were two Coca-Cola crates there. And this is the one, the first one that has sold, I still have another one and it sold for $12.50. And this cute little horned owl juice cup sold for $8. I started to panic because this is one of those items that I could not find and I don't wanna get more defects on eBay. You know, they really give you these defects if you don't ship out on time or if you have to cancel sales and I was so nervous because I couldn't find it but it was really small and tucked in in my tub where I keep all my cups and mugs and things but we found it thank goodness and it sold for eight dollars these are red aspen nails these sold for twenty dollars these I actually got I was selling these for a while not, not exactly selling them but I had a link where I was selling them getting them wearing them and I would get points and so I would get free nails and this is some of the nails that I got with my free points. So this was $20 and there's some other ones that are coming up as well. These also sold for $20. This ashtray sold for $35. I got this at a garage sale for 75 cents. There were actually two. I got this one and then there was one with a teepee on it that already sold. So 35 bucks on this. Here's another one of these buttons. This is Lasma South. It's something to do with horse racing clearly and it sold for 12.99. dollars 
Another one of the comics from the lot that my friend gave me sold for $19.99. It's funny, I haven't sold any Suicide Squad in a while and then lately there have been a, a whole slew of them that have been coming through like in a wave. This was a wall pocket. So if you flipped it over, there was like a little hole in the back, you know, people could put their scissors or whatnot in it. And it's a Lusterware Spanish Galleon and this sold for $19.99. I got this for a dollar at a garage sale. Same with these vintage uh, cherry blossom salt and pepper shakers. They sold for $14.99 and I got these also at a garage sale for about a dollar. These napkin rings sold for $35. I was starting to despair. I enjoy selling napkin rings and I got these at a garage sale not too, too long ago. And yeah, they finally sold. I started thinking maybe I should stop picking up napkin rings because they've been sitting for a while. But nope, they finally sold. This was also in that box that had the the Duke and the Harley Davidson patches. So this sold for $9.99. Yes, this corkscrew bottle opener, $9.99. Another set of nails sold for $25. And this little Austria ring sold for $22. I've had this listed for a very long time. I think because of the damage on it, you see there's a little chip right there that it, um, it just kind of deterred or detracted from it for a while, but finally found the right buyer. I can't even remember. It may have come in a lot, but it's been really, really a long time that I've had this. This really cute wood carved spoon. I actually had this on my own because I have a lot of wood decor and I never did end up hanging it up. So I finally decided to sell it and it sold for $35. Another set of nails sold for 20. And this is another one that sold for 20. This is another of the comics that my friend gave me. This sold for $19.99. This was a fun one. Uh, we got these at a garage sale. It's Mickey and Minnie and their little farmers and their corn, corn holders. And they actually have the corn trays there. These sold for $24.99 and we paid $2 for this. Here's another one of the large Pokemon cards that sold for $6. Again, this is one of my kids contributions to selling. This patch was in was this in there was a big lot of patches like a big uh like gallon sized bag that i got of patches that i'm slowly working on listing uh that sold for nine dollars this was actually mine another one of my collectible things that i like i liked collecting a lot of harry potter stuff and i decided i just don't really need it it's mostly sitting in a box or a tub so i just started selling it off and this was like a a tin that you would put candy in, but the lid popped off and had like a piggy bank hole. And this is the night bus from Harry Potter. Sold for 11 bucks. Another Wii Sports sold for 14. And I had two sales from a haul video. One was from our storage locker haul. I had a 10 karat gold bracelet that I found in the locker and it sold for $150. And then a recent haul that I did, I had a Betsy Johnson black and white purse that sold for $50. If you enjoy videos like these about things that sell online or things that I'm picking up, I'm gonna link a video up here. And this is one that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. And if you haven't, consider subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.